Bojo, Bojo, Wabin and Nago Queen, Desnikas, Wabazeshi, and Dodem, Anishinaabe Queen Dao, Bachuana and Donjuba, Niso, Medeleon. Hello, everyone. It is an honor to be here. My name is Serene Fox, and all of that is the community that uh, claims me, um, Bachuana First Nation, my clan, uh, and who I represent. So, Five years ago, uh, I was one of the first journalists on the ground at Standing Rock. Um, and Standing Rock came to be one of the largest gatherings of First Nations, um, Indigenous people um, in, in a very long time. And when I arrived on the ground, I was filming for a documentary series called Rise uh, for Viceland. That experience of filming on the ground at Standing Rock shaped me. Um, I was raised by an activist mom uh, and I grew up uh, knowing about uh, Indigenous sovereignty and uh, fighting hard to understand uh, who I was as an Indigenous person and how to uh, raise my voice and be seen and heard. For my mom's generation, it was messaging um, things like Oka, uh, Wounded Knee, um, the occupation at Alcatraz. These were movements of Indigenous people who were rising up to reclaim um, their own narratives, to share their stories, and to talk about uh, the sovereignty uh, that we inherently deserve as Indigenous people. So for me, uh, I grew up knowing, listening uh, to the stories of, um, of these occupations. And so I waited for a moment uh, like this to take place for me. And that moment was Standing Rock. And what I saw on the ground at Standing Rock um, was revolutionary. Because for me, uh, all of a sudden, the uprising of cell phones um, became uh, a way of reaching back into my Indigenous history, um, reclaiming ancestral knowledge. Uh, and that's using the live stream to operate um, with our oral traditions. So I saw this as a profound moment uh, where we could uh, be as we were as Indigenous storytellers, share our own stories, claim our own narratives. And so with one cell phone uh, playing a live stream, all of a sudden what was happening on the front lines of Indigenous communities became what the world could see. And all of a sudden, all of the stories that had been told about Indigenous people could now be told by us from our own perspective, speaking about injustices that before were silenced. Um, there were so many things in the way of us telling our own stories. So for me, as a journalist, as a storyteller, when I think of social media, when I think of the tools that we have to share our perspectives, when I think of the opportunity to use our voices uh, and get out of the colonial structure, the colonial narrative that ties us to just words, um, to a framework that so often is outside of uh, indigenous perspectives, there's power. There's power in reclaiming our voices. And we can do that, all of us, each and every one of us right now in a profoundly different way, in a way that allows anyone to speak for themselves and to start to undo the damage that speaking for others, telling other stories uh, has done for so long. So uh, I really love this medium and I look forward to the revolutions that uh, will continue from it. So, Chimigwech Nikonis. 